I'm Jared Dienda. This is Snap-on Tools Tech Series Nitro Edition. Now you're going fast. In order to save yourself from going off the track, you need to stop fast. What are the components? I mean, these aren't factory brakes. No, they're not. For starters, we have a parachute. Without the parachute on some of these racetracks, this car would not stop in right. time. So parachutes are the first thing I hit when I'm going through the finish line. And the second thing I do, I reach over and grab the brake. And I pull back on it, and it's a four-wheel carbon fiber disc brake system. And this car is about 2,600 pounds, so it stops fairly quick. But again, it has to have the parachutes. You see that chute go, and you're yanking on it immediately? Yeah, and first thing I do is I feel for the parachute hit. Then you know, okay, we can just massage the brakes. Otherwise, if you don't feel the parachute hit, you're on the brakes completely and hoping that that parachute pops out eventually. Not too long ago, we actually shredded both parachutes and they fell off the car. So luckily there was enough stopping distance at Phoenix. We were able to drive off the end of the track, but the parachutes are a critical component of stopping this race car at 320 miles an hour. And so many pieces of this vehicle are carbon fiber. You said the, the rotors are carbon fiber. On street vehicles, they're metal. So so why carbon fiber? They actually last longer, they're lighter, but they actually work better. I do the burnout, I like pull the brakes, I can actually feel them applying more brake without even adding the more pressure to the brake. So it's nice knowing that there's something out there that's better than the normal braking system. And when you're doing a line lock, do they come into play? When I'm stopped, ready to hit the throttle, I'm on the brake like this, and then as soon as I see the light, I let go of the brake and I'm stabbing and steering. 